what's happening folks and welcome to another episode of stars of tomorrow an fm20 wonder kid young player review series where we look at some of the young players on the game all these players are suggested by you guys the viewers and hopefully subscribers as well um and all you gotta do is get your player in the game on in the series sorry is to look at the playlist make sure your player has not been done already some are sneaking through that have been done already um, and also leave a comment about as much info on the player as you can. I replied to your comment usually twice, at least once, um, saying I've seen your player. So you don't need to put it in the video in case I haven't replied to it yet. Down below, guys, this call links to myself and FM Creators and my Twitch channel as well. Fridays, Saturdays, and Tuesdays, we're streaming, work, work permitting, and uh, also check out the AX series as well. Because I really want to get you guys involved in that series. Because I'm loving it right now. I could see myself doing like over 200 episodes in that series. Easily. So today's player is Matthias. Matthias. Azo. Point up that's not right. But I'm going to go as and we are. And then Zo again. So Azo. I'm going with that one. Striker. Um, currently at River Plate, you Uruguayan, 16, 16 years of age. So obviously, bear in mind rules about bringing players from America to your country if there's those kind of rules, um, <clears throat> which I'm a bit hazy on whether those rules actually, actually exist or not. I know in the Premier League you can't do it, but I don't know about anybody else. Um, I'm not in contact with Ajax, with Ajax, but I don't think I've signed anybody that young from Brazil. Because they're like 20 years old, I've signed the talent from there. So, striker, 14 finishing. Uh, great pace of 16 year old great pace and and finishing to be fair uh, 14 technique tries first time shots with a low composure but again he is 16 years old um i doubt this list clause his contract yeah because you've player. so yeah but let's go forward guys to the first jump and see how he's getting on also actually before we get any further he's been there for, his, his contract's been going on since 2016 so bear that in mind as well so folks he's now going to Bayern munich and we're seeing Steady increases in his abilities and stats. The pace and physical stamp to run a bit more now. Composure up by two. 15 finishing, 15 heading, and 14 technique. He is six foot. Where is he? Six foot. Um, so, let's have a look at his injury record first of all. Um, one major injury there for five weeks, and then he got a concussion in training for three weeks. He was out for. So, history. So, look at his history here. So, really? So, first year, didn't play much. Got one goal. Got three goals next season. Then got seven. Then went to, we went to Colorado. The free transfer. Got nine goals, two assists. Then he got seven goals, two assists. And then you look at um, Bayern right now. The point for 6.5 million pounds. This would be a key time to play him. Again, we always say it's a critical, think it's a critical time to play these guys. Age around 20 years old to 22. Get him some decent football or good training. And then usually you'd hope they could come from there. Has he got a release clause his contract? No, he has not. So, will Bayern give him games, or is it going to be the old AI don't play, doesn't play the player deal? There's only one way to find out. Right, folks, he's still at Bayern Munich, and he's getting games. Um, good to see. Again, physically, but pretty much the same. But heading and finishing up to 16, and 13 composure, 15 technique, and flair 16 as well. Um, still got to play the same player traits. Is there a release clause in the contract now? There is a 35.5. Relatively reasonable, I would say. It's less evaluation on the market. So, snap on that one if you get that kind of situation. Don't want to sign him. Um, for, for the, like, the, obviously, the, the release clause, obviously. Injuries? No, yeah, not too bad. One way for seven weeks, which is a bit upsetting for him, probably, but nothing too serious. So, first season. Didn't do much. Second season, three goals, one assist. Then nine goals, one assist. 19 goals, five assists. Then 12 and two. So, getting football. Getting football and playing. He's a very good striker. Nice and solid. Uh, very basic. Not highly, te highly technical overall. You know, like dribbling and first touch. But he's got the got, got where it counts in finishing, heading, technique, and the composure. <clears throat> and good physicals as well. So, will Dortmund get him? Or will he stay at Bayern? Let's find out. Still at Bayern Munich. With fifty eight million pounds. The only downgrade really here is his heading down to fifteen. The rest is pretty much the same or slightly increased by one. Um no risk closing his contract now. Injury cards, have a look at that. Uh would say it's okay for me personally. There's a lot there, but you take the ones out for days, I wouldn't say it's 
too much, to be honest with you. Mind you, again, so to, again down to the preference. So we got to here, didn't we? So the next year he got seven and four, then three and one, nineteen and nine, and then six and four. So be erratic. He has really good years and really quiet ones. Um, that could be down to manager tactics uh, and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, twenty years old, good pace, good finishing. This is essentially his prime, I would say. He's not get better than this. So I'm gonna keep this one a bit screen a bit longer. I think this guy's great. I think for the money you're paying for, especially what Bayern paid for, six point five million pounds a bargain. Um and yeah, um let's go to the final job and let's see if we can get more consistency in his goals. And he's now gone to Finnebache. Um and obviously we're seeing physicality drop, thirty two years old now. Injury record, I disregard these top ones here. Because these are getting older, so maybe more uh, likely to pick up knocks and injuries, that kind of thing. Um, so, Chris starts have a look at Bayern Munich. So, we got 6 and 4 there, 8 and 2, 3 and 3, 10 and 4, then 16 and 8. So, quite interesting. Not massive fees paid for him, inconsistent in front of goal, but then again, that doesn't, that doesn't the same mean he's going to do the same for you. It could simply be the fact that he's just been unfortunate with injuries, or not injuries, sorry, um, with Nigel my dual changes in form and maybe they played a much more striker more than him in those seasons and he just didn't get the look or maybe they performed badly in a season you, you know obviously probably not with Bayern Munich probably were top two and three for most if not winning it all the time so yeah really good player not expensive cheap good heading good, good finishing decent pace as well try first time shots maybe you could get that composure and you could be a bit high maybe you can get that place of shots in there maybe thank you for, for the um, player suggestion I will see you in the upload tomorrow. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the series, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And check out the IX series down below and the Star Wars series as well. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.